the regulations for 2013, they've, uh, they've not changed a lot, actually. And, um, but as you can see, we've, we've uh, created a, a very visually different car to last year. Um, I guess starting at the front, one of the regulations that has changed is the, uh, the allowance from the FIA for a, um, a vanity panel, if you, if you wish to call it that. But basically, it's a, it's a non-structural fairing that allows you to hide a step nose. Um, it's one of the big questions that everybody's been asking all the teams, will they, won't they have a, have a step nose? I think we've sort of got something in between. We've still got the step nose in the centre, um, but we've, we've uh, used, the, used the panel to further optimise the aero. Um, and so on the, on the sort of outer edges, we've, um, we've got a nicely ramped up nose. Um, in terms of the front wing, this is predominantly uh, carryover uh, for the first test from last year. Again, one of the small regulation changes um, is an additional uh, legality check on the front wing. So we've had to spend a lot of time uh, changing the structure of the wing to ensure that we can pass that test. Uh, this will be one of the items that we spend a lot of time uh, over the winter testing developing. We've got a whole new assembly coming for Barcelona uh, and then some more new bits for Melbourne. Um, in terms of the front axle, we've pretty much um, kept our philosophy on front suspension. Um, we've also added some more tools internally to help us with tyre management um, uh, and also sort of braking stability. In terms of the, the brakes, we've got a whole new braking system that we were developing all the way through last year uh, that we ran, actually ran towards the end of last year in testing, but um, we've introduced that for 2013. In terms of the, the chassis, um, this is an area that we've, um, again, spent a lot of time and effort on uh, to save weight, although Again, it's very difficult to see um, all the hard work that's done, but um, we've made some huge weight savings without any compromise uh, to safety. Uh, and then, I guess, yeah, moving back, um, the most obvious thing is the, is the side pods. Um, like I say, it's, um, it's a bold move. Um, it's a bold design. We, we're pretty confident it's, um, um, it'll bring us good, uh, good performance. Like I say, the, the, um, one, of the, one of the huge challenges for us is, is packaging all the radiators and electronic boxes. I don't know, you know whether, whether you've ever seen under, under the cover of uh, a Formula One car, but there are so many um, boxes these days. It's, it's actually a good thing to watch our uh, YouTube site with a cutaway car to see all the components that are in there. So, so again, that's been a, it's been a huge, huge challenge for us. Um, and you know, it was all very last minute getting everything done, tested and on the car, but uh, like most things in Switzerland, we got it just on time. Um, so then sort of coming around to the, uh, to the rear of the car, obviously exhausts um, are a big factor um, these days in how we handle the, the, the exhausts. Um, again, you know, it's not massively different to what we, what we finished, finished up with last year, but we further enhanced this. Um, as we did last year, we've, we've sort of built um, sort of flexibility into the car. Uh, which allows us to test lots of new things very sort of cheaply and quickly, uh, which we sort of found helped us out last year uh, in introducing updates throughout the season. So, so again, this is an area that through, throughout winter testing, uh, we'll test lots of new parts, um, which, which I'm sure will bring us even more performance. Um, moving on to the, to the rear end, um, again, in terms of inboard suspension, we've, we've not changed too much since last year. Again, we've got some more tools in there to help us with our, um, we believe, already good tyre management, but again, um, some, some clever tools to help us um, to improve that even more. Um, in terms of the sort of, sort of aero, um, rear diffuser and everything, again, that's all been um, optimised for efficiency, again, around the exhaust uh, and all the bodywork and side pods. Um, in terms of rear wing, again, we'll roll out with something that's very similar to last year, but this is another area. Um, that has changed from last year. The double DRS systems are banned um, as, as Mercedes ran last year, uh, but passive um, drag reduction systems are, are allowed. So, so again, this is an area that we're sort of looking at developing again through the course of winter testing. And, and I'm sure you'll see some big changes um, in time for Melbourne. So um, that's a quick summary of the car. And obviously um, we'll be around uh, later to answer any more sort of specific details. But I think in summary, um, the whole team have um, designed a, a sort of aggressive looking car, I guess you can say, and um, we're pretty confident that it's also going to be aggressive on the track. So, thank you.